Greetings everybody. This is how you activate the new heroic event, the new public event on Mercury for the Curse of Osiris DLC expansion pack for Destiny 2. So after you go to both sides and slam dunk those energy basketballs, you take this uh, launcher to the side island and if anybody can tell me why I die nine times out of 10, when I take that jump, I'll be extremely grateful. I don't know why I always die doing that, but it, gravity hates me, I guess. So anyway, um, on the first island that you traverse to, one of your teammates is gonna slam dunk another energy ball, and then do not go back to the middle. Look to the outside, and you're gonna see these glowing diamonds that are spawning on the outside. After you kill the first one, you're gonna see some of these Mega Man platforms respawn or kind of forming on the outside and then you just need to shoot every single one of these glowing diamonds that you can. This is one of the harder ones to activate. You're probably going to need two people to do it. Those uh, diamonds, they take a lot of damage to kill and if you're if the, the other people doing the public event are racing to complete it and going to the next step, you need to complete this step before they do the next step. So after you shoot all those diamonds, make it to the top, stand in this red circle for just a couple seconds to activate it. And now you have started the heroic event. And what this does is it makes the final boss of the heroic event a little bit more difficult. Uh, he has these gatekeepers that have keys that you have to kill instead. So now I'm just showing the entire public event uh, from the beginning. If you want to see the entire process, I wanted to start with the most important um, tutorial part first, and I'm just going to show the entire public event. And I wanted to talk about the Curse of Osiris DLC a little bit, and I guess some of the public reaction uh, that I've seen, especially on Reddit. Well, it, it seems like Reddit, Reddit gets their panties in a bundle about nearly everything lately, and uh, they just like to complain. I have thoroughly enjoyed this Curse of Osiris DLC. I've been really, like, so to explain my gameplay progress, I guess, for Destiny 2. I played the hell out of Destiny 2 when it launched on the console. When it came out on the PC, I was so burned out on the game that I didn't really want to play anymore. Like, by the time that this game came out on the PC, you know, I'd done the raid multiple times. Uh, I, you know, done trials, I'd done everything, and there wasn't really much more for me to do. And I, I had, uh, I had two, three hundred, or three oh five uh, powered characters when the PC version came out, and I, I just wasn't really interested in playing more. And um, maybe about a week before the Curse of Osiris DLC came out, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get back into Destiny, start playing on the PC version that I had pre-ordered and hadn't even installed, and. Um, God, this game plays so differently on the PC. It's amazing. It's so it's such a fun game on the PC. It's remarkable how different it feels. You know, um, I, I I feel like there's more viable weapon classes on the PC with playing with a mouse and a keyboard than there are uh, on the console. Like um, auto rifles and submachine guns are are like you can use them more effectively on the PC and hand cannons as well. Like I was not effective at all with hand cannons on the console, but on the PC, it's like, they're really, really good. And it's, you know, I haven't, um, I mean, obviously PC Master Race, all Heil, but uh, like, it's not too often that like, I've seen a game that feels like the mechanics are different because, or like certain, um, classes within the game are actually better with a mouse and a keyboard. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm trying to think what other games I've really played a lot of on the console and then went also to the PC. The first thing really comes to mind is Dest or not, not Destiny, uh, Dark Souls. And obviously, they run better on the PC, especially with a little bit of DS fix for the first one, but 
you know, the game didn't really play differently. Um, same thing with like Fallout uh, 3 and Fallout 4. I played probably equal amounts on the console as I did on the PC. And it didn't, like, it runs smoother, it runs faster, but it, it doesn't necessarily, it's not a different game. Um, so I, I, I've been finding it very interesting that this is almost a different game on the PC. Um, and I'm really looking forward to competitive ranked PvP when that comes out for this. Uh, anyway, so, you know, like, I feel like I got really good value, or I, I've been getting good value out of this expansion pack. Uh, I bought the season pass, I guess, I, I forget what their technical term for it is, where, you know, I, I get both expansion packs for 30 bucks instead of just this one for 20 And I really enjoy the campaign, I'm enjoying this new area. Yes, I think it is very small, like, so I... I read somewhere that someone thought that this was actually um, uh, a scrapped 8 versus 8 map that they just converted into this DLC area, which probably isn't too far from the truth, but uh, it actually... Um, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. So, okay, so here is how the heroic event works now. Um, instead of just killing this boss in the middle, he's going to have some minions that you have to kill take their key and then uh, <laughs> slam dunk their key to disable the shield for the boss in the middle. Um, and I I don't know if like I don't know if people are just getting more entitled with what they expect from some of these games but I really enjoyed it. I think I've got good value out of this you know 15 or 20 bucks whatever you paid for it and the story is good. There's, like, people are still learning things about this new DLC, like there's this whole crafting system with Brother Vance, and I, I don't know, I'm really liking it. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope this video helped. Oh, this is the one where it didn't trigger completely. Right, my recording got screwed up, so I completed an event, I didn't complete the heroic event, but I triggered the heroic event. Maybe I don't like this DLC, because it's glitchy. Anyway, thanks for watching, and game on.